Hey guys, it's Erin for EJ's Tumblers and More, and today we'll be doing the Chaos Box from Sandy's Organized Chaos, or SOC Glitter. So let's get to it. So today I'll be doing the Chaos Box. It is basically the SOC box, um, mystery box that she has. She does themes. This is the third one. Um, and let me just tell you, this does not disappoint. Let me just tell you. So let me get them for you. So usually you get the two finds and chunkies, two chunkies. That's what you get, but she added a bonus. Okay, so to go around with the theme, I don't know where my card went. Oh, wait, maybe it's still in the box. There it is. Sorry, guys. Okay, so in her box, she always gives a sticker out with it, and it's got bats. Look, bats, bats. It's freaking bats. On hers, as well as she has a card that she like it looks it's like a thick postcard like guys beautiful go ahead and give her a follow i'll leave this for a second um but pause this so you can get her information she's an amazing person sandy from sandy's organized chaos i love her to death um she has her own youtube channel she's the one that inspired me to do a youtube channel as well as inspired me to um do tumblers one of them. There's a lot of people that inspire me, but she's one of them. Uh, so, oh, I didn't even. And then, of course, the descriptions on the back. Descriptions? Did I say this? Yeah. So, again, pause this if you need to. I'm going to go through it with you guys. So, Hocus Pocus. Winifred. No, I'm going to do that last. So, uh, oh, I guess I could do it first because she technically is the one in charge. If you haven't seen Hocus Pocus, you need to watch Hocus Pocus. Okay, so Winifred, I'll show you here. Um, Multicolor and size chunky in shades of green and burnt orange. It's like a shift, color shift. As well as, no, maybe not, because they're all the different colors. But yeah, once you shift, it almost looks like orangey. If you shift one way, it looks more green. And let's see if I can give it, get you to see the glitter. I don't know how it's going to come out. That's the glitter. It's so beautiful. Different cuts. She mixes them so well that you don't even need another cut. You like, you know how sometimes you have chunky and then you have to put another, you know, extra fine on it to fill in all the gaps. Well, with this one, you don't have to. She fills it. She does it for you. And so if you want to, you know me, I have everything. Oh, why it took me so long to do this video. Um, to get it out to you guys, I should say. Um, I did it under epoxy and look at that shine. I'll leave a link on how to get these, how to make these coin samples. Excuse me, that I was inspired by the purple stitch, the purple stitch. She made them. I did them my, my way. Um, she, I think she does UV resin, or she used to. I just use epoxy. Um, depending on the company, I'll use Quick Coat, or whatever I have extra is what I usually use. But I'll leave the link below. I'll leave the purple stitch below her, her YouTube channel as well, so you can go give her a follow as well. She's another amazing person that I love watching. Jessica, you are amazing if you're watching this. Um, so that's what it's a coat of epoxy. So I'm going to put that together. Uh, let's see. What's the next one? Mary. This one. Those that know when I um, do my samples, um, I'll put an X so I know I've made the samples and I put a n name on top. So all you have to do is look up above and you'll see the name. So you'll know. I have them arranged in. For me, I arranged mine in rainbow colors. Um... And then that way it makes it a little easier to see. And then I know, okay, here's the green area. And then, oh, 
or purple area. And then I'll say, oh, I'm looking for Mary. Okay, Mary's is on the top. And then I also, you don't want to see my glitters. I have a ton, ton. I don't know if you can see them, but I have a ton of glitters. And to keep them organized, I keep them in their company's uh, organization. If you want to see that video on all, not all my glitters, but like the company glitters or whatever, if you suggest something, again, leave a comment below. And if you don't get a chance to, don't forget to subscribe, like my video, um, and I'll make more videos like this if you really like my video, as well as hit the notification bell uh, so you can get to know, be first to get to know when I put a video up. So, and I'm gonna have more tutorials. It just hasn't, I've been working really hard on um, my cups as well as my regular 40 hour work week job. So, but I will be getting tutorials up. All right, so back to this. <laughs> Sorry, I go in circles. If you know me, I go in circles. So again, this is a 1 6 4 fine cut multi-color with shades of purple, deep purple, green, and gold. And it does, if you look sideways. I can't open these to save my life. So I kind of poke a hole in it. Let's see if I can grab some, some of the color on my finger and see if I can get the glitter. Let's see. I can get it so it really is a beautiful color it's got greens and blues no no blues um, but greens and golds and purples and then let me get the one for it Ooh, see. and this is what it looks like under epoxy oh man oh man this would make a beautiful pen or again in those snow globe tumblers. I have not done those yet. I'm planning on doing one. And if I do it, I'm going to do a video. Let's see. So, oh, so beautiful. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Okay, next is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. You're so pretty. Sarah is my favorite character. I'm sorry, but my favorite character in the movie. Well, maybe Billy, but no, my favorite, Sarah. Okay, fine cut in shades of pink, purple, with an opal green undertone. I would have thought it would have been like a blonde one, but that's okay. This almost looks holographic, guys. So it almost looks like you can use the tacket method. Let's see if I can get this, this out of my finger so I can show you the... Again, I don't know if you can see. I can't take the lids off to save my life. And so, I don't know if it, you can see the colors, but purple, green, here we go. pink, ooh, yeah, this one would be really good for a tacket method, guys. Really would be beautiful. And then Sarah, under epoxy, isn't that beautiful? Look at the difference. <laughs> Again, she'd be really pretty on pens. That too. Oh, itchy, itchy. Sorry, I'm in my garage. Okay. So lastly, is Sally. Multicolor. Let me give you, show you Sally. Isn't she pretty? Multicolor and size chunky and high quality opalescent shades of white, silver with pink and green undertones. See if I can do this. Now this one would be good for I think the rain. What about was it those rainbow diamond ones? This would be really pretty in the middle for that. Really pretty, maybe in those snow globe ones, but it almost looks like it's iridescent. So it shows through, but it like enhances it. So here is the glitter. And then this is the glitter under epoxy. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty, so pretty. Okay, and last but not least, the, the surprise, the bonus. At least I, I didn't put under a sample because I'm afraid of using them. They're so cute. Okay, so this is skeleton. Um, 
Pumpkin King skeleton shapes, polymer clay sparkle sprinklers, sprinkles, sprinkles. And if you see, it's Jack Skellington. Oh, so cute. These these would be really cute in the snow globe tumblers, as well as what are those ones that are the shakers? Am I saying that right? The shaker keychain holders. Those would be really pretty. Okay. Let me get the glitters together. Let me put these together and take a picture for the thumbnail. Let's see if I can get them all. If not, maybe I, I don't know. All right. So those are my glitter samples. And so this is Mary, Sarah. Let's see if I can turn them around. Winter Renifred. I love Bed Midler. And Sally. And don't forget the bonus. So that is her sub box. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. Um, don't forget, I'm going to put Sandy's links below so you guys can go and check her stuff out. Don't forget to go see SOC Glitters. Um, it is amazing. Her glitter is amazing. Uh, what else? Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. If you like this video, I'll put more up. And um, don't forget to hit the notification bell to know when I will be putting other videos up. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, I gotta put these in, in jars. These jars are done. <gasps> oh, I'm still recording. Bye! Hey guys, I have a quick tip for you guys. So I'm bottling my glitters for the companies that do the bags. Um, so I am doing Sally from SOC Glitter. So I put it in one of my jars and I put um, a sticker on top, but then I want to keep this sticker. So I'll take my heat gun and then it's going to get loud. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't have a time or how hot. Be careful. It gets hot. So it like unglues the glit, the glue underneath. I still need to do more. Hold on. Let's see if this is enough time. Yeah. And it just, sorry, I have it off camera. And I just peel it off. So it peels off the bag. Throw the bag away. And then I have this. And I just put it right onto the bottle. And so now it's on. You can always put tape if you want, if you don't think it'll stay, but I just keep my hand on it and it's stuck. So that's how I get my, keep the stickers for them. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.